Hi, this is Lakshmi Kantativari. In this lesson, I am going to teach you how you can plot real-time CPU usage in a matplotlib and a Python. To get it started, we need to first import matplotlib and then CPU percentage from psutil. Although you do not need to install any extra packages for uh, CPU usage, but of course for matplotlib you need matplotlib. So let's go ahead. First, import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt since we will be using a real-time plot therefore we will be also needing matplotlib function animation that we can get from matplotlib dot uh, animation uh, import uh, func animation all right and then from psutil import CPU you type here CPU and press the tab it will give you the suggestion there we need a CPU percent all right now once we have imported all these three necessary packages now you can get CPU percentage if you type just CPU percent it says that 30.1 percent at this current time if I run it again 38 27 and uh, you see here this is how the CPU percentage is changing but we need something which can plot this CPU percentage in a real time um, in, in a graph in a matplotlib. Alright, to do that, what we need to do, we need to write a, a function, animation function. So let's go ahead and write an animation function, def animate. This animate take an input, let's say we are, uh, we are going to give the i here. Okay, then uh, and uh, then I'm going to take the output in Y. Okay. So Y is here the output which we'll, we will plot in real time. That's the CPU percentage. Y dot append. The every time we need to append the CPU percentage at each time when this animation get called. That we can get with the CPU percent. So the Y is a list and in that list CPU percentage is getting appended. Now we need some window, all right? So some window so that the, that window, once the total number of uh, 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 the instance exceeded the total number of uh, window points, then then the plot should shift, all right? And to do that, we need to apply here if and else. So if len of y, that's the length of y, is less than or is equal to here I'm going to put here a frame length. Now I'm going to define here a frame length. A frame length is for how many seconds we want to keep our uh, CPU percentage window. So this is I'm going to put for 200 second. Okay, so there we have a 200. So if len of y is less than 200 in that case, we need to uh, first clear our plot. That's the CLA, plt.cla. And uh, once plot is clear, okay, then we need to plot it again, plt.plot and inside that Y. And I'm gonna plot it into a red line. Y is CPU usage, uh, the output and R is defining here red line will be plotted and the label which I'm going to put for this is real time CPU usage. All right, so I'm not going to put else at this time so that I can show you it in real time. Then here we have uh, so that I can show you it first and then I'll update this code. Now let's go ahead and take the plt dot tight layout all right and after this here we have defined our function now after this i want to call here ani is equal to func animation all right in this animation we need to pass here plt dot gcf okay which will uh, passing here uh, uh, the plot canvas here and then I'm passing here the animate function and then the interval I'm going to pass here 
is uh, interval equal to the 1000 that's me this function will get called after 1000 milliseconds okay in continuous manner the one thing which we are missing here let me show you let me first run this and then i'll show you what i'm missing here now you see here there is nothing is coming here you know because we have not provided here uh, the matplotlib notebook all right so in the jupyter notebook you need to provide here matplotlib notebook in this case it will say that we are uh, using matplotlib in a notebook all right so let's go ahead and now run this and see what happens now you see here uh, the plot is coming here but this plot is quite large we need to set the length of this plot as well all right so this plot is quite large so let's go ahead and and this set the figure size which we can set here fig is equal to plt dot figure okay and in that we can set here a fig size the current fig size which i'm gonna set here is uh, 8 cross 3 let's say now let's go ahead and run this the 8 cross 3 is also quite large figure size let's go ahead and set it 6 into 2 yes now you see here we have got this and this is showing that the cpu uses currently uh, in my uh, the the macbook all right but the question is once it crosses this 200 seconds window it will stop so to complete that we also need to write else statement as well so if length of y is less than if length of y is less than 200 then it will be used otherwise else that's mean if length crosses this 200 then we are going to again clear this one plt dot cla and then we are going to use here plt dot plot all right and uh, then since it has let's say it has crossed the 200 second window then we only need very recent 200 seconds window so there plt dot y sorry plt dot plot then y and then we need uh, the very recent the 200 second that is the minus frame length to all the uh, 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 the very recent 200 values and then we want it into a red color and here a label which we are going to use that's the uh, same as we have used in above line that's the cpu uh, real time cpu usage and apart from that let's go ahead and set some limits as well so the plt dot y limit in this plt dot y limit we need 0 to 100 that's mean uh, the y will y will be set in between 0 to 100 and then let's go ahead and set x label the x label here we have time let's say in second and apart from that plt dot y label and in the y label we have a cpu usage in percentage all right and then here we have plt dot legend all right and in the plt dot legend here we have location is equal to upper right all right perfect now you see here you have got a very perfect real-time cpu usage monitor in your jupyter notebook running with matplotlib and python so this is the real-time cpu usage when i'm moving my cursor this uh, this is taking a little more uh, you know uh, power to process the signals that's why the cpu usage are getting increased but if i am putting it in idle cpu uses are getting reduced all right so this is how you can use real-time plotting in matplotlib and the python and this is how you can plot real-time cpu usage thank you so much for watching this video please do not forget to like and subscribe this channel so that you can get more videos and uh, you can get updates directly into your inbox 
if you have any doubts and if you want any more videos on some other topic please let me know on comment box thanks for watching bye bye have a nice day